This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, the physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson making music. Random Song Generator. You're going to make a random song generator. When you press a button, a random note should play. Press it enough times, and you have yourself a beautiful arrangement of bleeps and blops. Okay. You used random number to select an element from an array in a previous lesson. Yes. So we use random number to get, and as the index for uh, an array. Uh, so you should be familiar. And if you're not, we'll do it anyways. We'll be fine. Do this. Add code to randomly select a note from the notes array and play it. Run the program and press the left button to hear your buzzer sing a beautiful tune. <laughs> All right. So add code to randomly select a, a note from the notes array and play it. So our notes array is here. What indexes do we have? And remember, these indexes for arrays always start at zero. So we have a zero, a one, and a two. So our random number, this variable index, we need it between zero and two because our index is, oh, it looks like there's a space here. Because these indexes are zero, one, and two. So now, what do we want to do with our array, or I mean our um, variable? Well, we're going to want to play the buzzer's note, not frequency, note. So there we are. Uh, we don't want it to be A, and if it's a variable here, right? If it's a variable, you do not need it in quotes. So you're going to need notes which is the array we're going to use. And then what what element of that array, what part of it, we're not going to say a number. We're going to let it, whatever that random number is, that's what we want to use. So we're going to use the index variable to get that working for us. Okay, I'll just increase this a little bit, which is just the length of it plays so we can hear it. Run. That's cool. And it plays a different note each time. Fancy. Let's uh, keep going.